can't believe I forgot to do that again. Ah, man, how am I supposed to know where I'm supposed to go now? <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> Psych, we're back in the garage where I am not getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. But let's talk about how poor planning can lead to mistakes and the things that you absolutely should be doing every single time ahead of a backpacking trip to make sure that you don't end up with issues, you don't have mistakes happen, and it's just a good overall backpacking experience that you have when you go out on the trip that you've got planned. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is just making sure that all of the gear that you need to have with you is ready to go. And what I mean by that is, let's take a tent for example. There are several components to a tent that ensure that this is going to function and work as it's supposed to when you head out on a trip. Namely, make sure that you've got all of the stakes that are necessary for a correct pitch of your tent with your tent. You may have been out on a trip last year and broke or bent a few stakes and then put the tent aside and forgot about it. And now your first time taking it out, you're kind of in a rush getting prepped and ready for your next backpacking trip. You throw it in your backpack and then you end up out on setting up your tent for that first night. Then you're like, dang it. I wish I would have taken the time to make sure that I had all the stakes necessary. The guy lines were all ready to go, whatever it is to make sure that your shelter is all set up. And that applies to pretty much everything in your backpacking system. Lay your gear out, spread it out on the floor and make sure that everything is there, that you've got the bags, the stakes, that stuff you're putting in your backpack is ready to hit the trail and it's going to perform the way that you need it to so you have a good experience in the backcountry. Now, one of the most important things you do with planning a backpacking trip is map your route. Spend the time ahead of time looking at what the route looks like, if it's predetermined, or maybe you are doing something off trail and you're mapping it out and exploring some areas yourself, but you're gonna take the time on either a paper map or on a mapping software like Onyx Backcountry where you are literally mapping out the exact route you want to do. You are adding campsites that you want to spend the night at and looking for water sources, points of interest, all of those things that are gonna help you navigate and enjoy the area that you want to visit a bit more and not get lost. Like that's the whole point of mapping out your route, right? So I like to use Onyx Backcountry because it is very efficient to use from not only the desktop version to map out everything and then have it on my phone, but one of the critical, most important things you need to do before you leave on your trip that can be a huge mistake is not downloading the map and route information for offline use before you head out on a trip. There have been many, many times where I have been like at the gas station right before I head out of cell phone service and I'm gonna be at the trailhead and I'm like, oh no, I didn't download my map for offline use. And so making sure that with OnX, you've got your map all downloaded. It's gonna have all your waypoint information, all your campsite information and notes and such in there so that you're able to navigate properly while you're out on your trip and have all that information instead of doing what <laughs> a lot of people probably end up doing is pulling up their mapping software and go, oh no, I don't have my map on my phone downloaded for offline use which is a good argument for having a backup system, right? Having a paper map, something that is there, not reliant on uh, technology and electronic devices, but still make sure that you have that as a checklist item to download for offline use so that you're able to navigate and not have any of those issues when you're out on a trip. So similarly to making sure you have all of your map information downloaded for offline use is making sure that your satellite device is ready to go for your trip. Let me know down in the comments if you have ever had this happen to you where maybe at the start of the season or you took a break for a bit, but you get out into the backcountry on a trip and you realize I didn't 
renew or unfreeze my satellite device subscription and now you're not able to use your device. <laughs> and those kinds of things happen when you are rushing and you're just not taking the time ahead of a trip to make sure that you have everything prepped and ready to go. But then also test your device before you head out. It would be a huge bummer if you find out that, hey, something is not right with my device. It's not sending messages, it's not receiving messages, it's not pulling weather reports. Then you get out into the backcountry and you're like, shoot, I have an emergency situation. This isn't working. That is a recipe for disaster in a lot of cases. Take the time to make sure that your satellite device, if you have one, is ready to go and sending messages working properly, your subscription is active, and it's all prepped and just working the way that it is supposed to. So then hopefully, when you've been out on a backpacking trip, you have not had to use your first aid kit, you haven't had any burns or cuts or scrapes or things, but if you have had to use your first aid kit on a previous trip, make sure that before you leave on a trip, you pull everything out of your kit and make sure that it is just restocked, ready to go for the trail. I've been out on some trips recently in the past year where I had some blister issues and I used part of my blister kit to manage those blisters that I developed. And then I went out on another trip and I had not taken the time to replenish my first aid kit with new blister care stuff. and got more blisters and wasn't able to effectively manage those blisters. And so I was in pain and just did not enjoy my trip as much because I didn't take the time to make sure that my first aid kit was ready to go. And then lastly, I've got two really important things, but they are very simple in concept. You may have bought some brand new gear for the trip that you've got planned. And I've done this very often where I get a new piece of gear right before a trip and I don't have the time to test it out to make sure that there are no issues with it out of the box. And I've not really been burned by that quite yet, but I have heard of many people with sleeping pads, for example, they buy a brand new sleeping pad, they take it out on a trip, having never inflated it before and find out that from the factory, it's got some kind of issue. It's not staying inflated, the valve has a problem, and now you're sleeping on the ground, cold ground and not comfortable and just not enjoying yourself. Whatever new piece of gear that you have bought, take the time ahead of a trip to make sure it is just good to go so that you don't end up with problems. And lastly, let's talk about just eliminating redundancies. And this goes back to spreading out your gear to make sure that everything is there. You want to make sure that you are just not taking more gear than is absolutely necessary for the trip that you have planned. Spread your gear out and remove what if gear items that are just absolutely unnecessary. So you're not carrying extra bulk and weight in your backpack. I want to thank you guys for watching today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, obviously you know what to do. Hope you have an awesome day. Catch you in the next one. See you later.